I want to make her desire you. I'm going to give you the five things women find irresistible in a man and in men in general. Hi guys, my name is Apollonia Plenty. I am a dating relationship and life coach for you men, not only to master your attraction skills with women and better your life and your relationship, but better your life overall. And if this is the first time of you viewing this video, I welcome you. Click that subscribe button so you can get amazing content sent every weekly and be up to date with dating relationship and life advice. All right. So isn't it amazing when you find a woman that you're connected to and you get this desiring feeling from her where she desires you. She wants to do things with you. She wants to continue the conversation with you. She wants to see you. She sends you good morning texts. Well, I'm going to tell you the five most important things that women find irresistible to men. So this woman that I'm speaking of that you might be wanting to attract or your dream woman that you want, you know, that is out there, you can embody these five principles to get that outcome that you're looking for. So let's get into it. Number one is a man with standards. Like I talk about this all the time. Um, standards shows that you are confident with what you want from life. And you are also confident with what you want from the relationship. You don't just settle for anything because she has a pretty face or perfect body. You actually date with intention because you know and value your own worthiness from inside. And you're intentional with the way that you go about dating women. So you're not scared to speak up about it. And you also live by it as well. And you live by your standards and you are actually an effective conscious communicator when it comes to really establishing great ground and a healthy ground with a woman in attraction. Number two is a man that lets us figure out his success instead of bragging about it. All right. This is vital guys. I have worked with a handful of C, I mean, not a handful, but I have worked with plenty of CEOs. I should say hundreds of them. And a lot of men that have been maybe I should say big public figures. Right. And one of the things that they always, always feel unconscious about is does she really love me for me or for my success? Right. And so this is a common thing that I see so much. And it's also a valid question. And so when, a man leads with his success, then you or brags about it, then you will find women that are out there that will use you for it or only want that from you. And so when you want to establish a real foundation and a secure relationship with a woman, you can't let her, you can't lead by this. She can know about it, but you can't lead her there. You have to let her slowly experience the success and maybe the five star restaurants or the Michelin star restaurants with you, right? You have to let her figure this out. Let me give you an example of a client that I've worked with. So, um, one of my clients, he owned a huge brokerage company for a real estate company, and it's very popular. It's very well known. Um, and he has people that follow his success and he's a single guy and he actually started to date women that were kind of just attracted to that part of him. Um, but not another part of him. And so, um, I started giving him advice on different things on how to start meeting women, courting women, going by differently about his experiences with women and how to do this. The example I want to give you is something that he did recently was he bought a new car and the car that he bought was the top of line red Ferrari. Right. And so of course he wanted it because obviously I get it. I'm a, I love cars. I'm love sports cars. Like I'm a f car fanatic. And so I get why people invest in cars. Okay. And so he was like, you know, I'm scared because I also, I, I love my car, but I don't want people just to see me as this car. Um, and a woman and attract the wrong woman. And I said, well, you need to ex let her experience this slowly and at her pace. And so what I said to him with this girl that he's dating, they've been on four dates. And I said, you know, after a while, I, I mean, they were on two dates, excuse me. And I said, after the, maybe the fifth, sixth, seventh date, when you notice that she and you hit it off, then if you want to pick her up, you can pick her up because they always took Uber. He, she always took Uber to meet him. Then you can offer to pick her up because I think that it's really important or drive her home after her date, because it's not something you're bragging about. A lot of times guys will be on the first date. Oh, I'll pick you up and they come up in this nice car. So you're already showcasing your success immediately. You see what I mean? It's kind of like you're bragging about it. Don't talk about it. What type of car you have to women. Don't post it on your dating apps. Don't post it. Oh, I have a Ferrari, but I promise I'm not a douche bag. I've seen that on online dating apps, which is horrible, but this is where you're also bragging about something that you also don't need to do. You can 
six, you can, you can love it and have it in your life. But when it comes to showcasing it, to find an attractive person and a partner into your life, you have to be careful here. Number three is the detail of pursuing and stepping up to provide a nurturing component for you and to you. So the detail of pursuing, right, is really important. You're not chasing a woman, but you're pursuing and far as following through, possibly planning dates, um, checking in on her from time to time and seeing if she's reciprocating, right? Because did you know that pursuing also has a nurturing component to it? So many times when we talk about masculine and feminine, there's a huge deal of successful relationships that have polarity. It doesn't mean a man always has to be masculine, but pursuing also does have a feminine art to it because you're also, you're actually nurturing the woman. And this is where a, a woman can also uh, be more comfortable stepping, stepping into her feminine and following you. Because even though you're nurturing the woman, you're still pursuing her, which is your masculine. You're striding to do things. You're striding to um, show her experiences. And so pursuing is casually and slowly getting some time to separate one of the two of you together into a date and doing things differently uh, throughout your dates or your conversations and so on. Number four is a woman is attracted to a beautiful smile. Someone who smiles with their eyes too. You know, there's been plenty of times that this has happened actually in my membership, in my group coaching, where I'll coach a guy and he hasn't, or he's been in my membership or group coaching for a couple of weeks, let's just say. And then I'll finally get on the call with him and do a little session with him. And right afterwards, I see the smile for the first time. And I'm like, this is what your date needs to see. The date needs to see your smile. Because here's the thing, it's so warming when a man smiles that it actually is a sub, on a subconscious level will build attraction to a woman when a man smiles. Guys, believe it or not, not a lot of men smile on the dates with women. I know it's crazy to hear, but not a lot of them do. And I'll tell you why. A lot of men hold tension in their jaw and in their uh, mouth. Jaw and mouth and shoulders and neck are the biggest areas that a lot of men hold tension in when they haven't learned how to regulate emotions or really blossom into comfortability within themselves and their bodies. And then number five, the most important, this is a vital guys on your dates is women find this so sexy. It's just the lean when you are literally on your dates and you're at a dinner table or at a bar and you just kind of slowly just lean back and you just look at her, especially in those moments of silence. And you're just like, and you just look at her and give her those eyes. This by far is a game changer. We actually brought a woman onto our mock dates um, when we had mock dates for um, my group coaching. And one of the things that happened is I told the guy, I private messaged him because I helped them with coach him when they're on their mock dates. I said, him, do the lean and stay in silence. And after when I gave feedback and I asked her to give feedback, she goes, whatever you did, you like leaned back and looked at me. It made me blush and I thought that was so sexy. Guys, I'm telling you right now, it sounds so crazy to say a lean will find it so sexy, but the way, the reason why women find this so sexy is it shows confidence and it's a very masculine approach to dating. So a bonus I wanna give you here on what will make a woman desire you is self-respect. Self-respect for women and not looking them as basically sex symbols or himself or yourself as sex symbol. This is so important. So his validation does not come from results. It comes from recognition. Okay. So the difference here is sometimes we get into dates and we're like, if she doesn't sleep with me within a month, that means she doesn't like me. Well, some women just don't want to sleep with a man until they're in a relationship too. Some women are open about they, that they will. But here's the thing is when we start chasing validation of an outcome needs to happen in order for this woman to like me, then we're stepping out of ourselves and we're actually embracing recognition. We're also, excuse me, embracing self-approval. Like we're also trying to get them to approve us and we're seeking approval instead of just recognition for yourself and following through the day, how you're showing up and actually trusting the process to see if this woman is somebody that you can see yourself with in the future or so on. So if you want to get better at becoming irresistible, if you want practice, if you want to really create standards for the woman date and really level up from a lot of other men out there and revamp your life, dating life or relationship life from the inside, side out, I want you to get a chance to work with me and book a call. The book a call link is right below in the description box. And I'll also put it up in here in the cards. I want to be able to help you with your dating and attracting skills. So if you have trouble with really taking things to the next level with women, getting women on a date or really getting a woman to want to be with you and, um, learning attraction and finding 
yourself in finding yourself breaking clear of limiting beliefs and really being able to lead the dating process with a high value woman. I'm your girl. I will help you get there in no time. I want you to book a call to see if we're a great fit to work together because this is your chance right now to sign up completely free and book a call so you can see if we can work together and I can help you with dating and your relationships. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.